In this video, we're going to talk about difference quotients. Now, the difference quotient of a function f is defined to be this expression, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, now it's kind of a, a crazy looking expression there. So what, what, what is sort of the point of difference quotients? Where, how are they used? Well, it turns out that they're used in calculus uh, to help you determine the slope of a curve. So, so we, we've talked about the slope of a line, but if, if you have a curve, what would it mean to talk about the slope of a curve? Well, you can talk about the slope at various points along the curve. How steep is the curve at various points along the curve? And difference quotients can help you find that out. But in this class, we just need to know how to construct and simplify a difference quotient for a certain function. So let's do an example. Uh, for the function f of x equals 4x plus 3, construct and simplify the difference quotient. OK, so let's do this. What is this equal to? Okay, so we're going to write this equals, oops, let's do this again. This equals uh, something over h. Well, it's f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So what is f of x plus h? Now, it's not the same thing as f of x plus f of h, right? That, that's not correct. And it's also not the same thing as f of x and then plus h. Right? That's not the correct thing. What is f of x plus h? Well, f of x is 4x plus 3. If you wanted to figure out what f of 5 is, you would do 4 times 5 plus 3. Or what f of t is, it would be 4 times t plus 3. So f of anything is just 4 times that thing plus 3. So f of x plus h, we'll do some scratch work right here, f of x plus h is just 4 times x plus h plus 3. Okay, so notice we've just replaced the x here in the formula for f of x with x plus h. Okay, so f of x plus h is 4 times x plus h plus 3. And then we're subtracting 4x plus 3, right? We're subtracting the f of x, but we better put that in parentheses because we're not just subtracting the 4x, we're subtracting the whole thing, 4x plus 3. Okay, so what this equals, if we simplify it, is 4x plus 4h plus 3, right, we distribute the 4 there, minus 4x minus 3 all over h. Now notice we have a plus 3 and a minus 3, so those add to 0, and we have a 4x and a minus 4x, those uh, add to 0. So what we're left with is 4h over h, and notice that we can simplify that to be just 4. Okay, so 4, it turns out, is the answer. That's the uh, what the difference quotient ends up being. Now sometimes your difference quotient will end up having things like uh, x's or h's in, them, in, in it. But in this case it was just a constant. Since we had a linear function it turned out it was just a constant. So let's do one more example. Uh, for the function f of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 2, construct and simplify the difference quotient. Okay, so, so what is this going to be equal to? Now f of x plus h, what is f of x plus h this time? Well, it's going to be x plus h squared plus 5 times x plus h minus 2. Right, I've taken the formula for f of x and replaced the x's with x plus h. Okay, and put them in parentheses. And then minus f of x. Now f of x, remember, is x squared plus 5x minus 2. But we better put that in parentheses because, again, we're not just subtracting the x squared. We're subtracting the whole thing. Okay, and that's all over h. Okay, now what does this simplify to be? Now, as some scratch work here, x plus h squared is the same thing as x plus h times x plus h. And if you multiply this out, if you FOIL this out, you're going to get an x times x gives you x squared. You're going to get an xh when you multiply the inside two terms and another xh when you multiply the outside two terms. So that gives you plus 2xh. And finally, you'll do h times h, so that will give you h squared. So x plus h quantity squared is not just x squared plus h squared. It turns out it's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. OK, so let's write that up here, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, that's that's this, okay, plus 5x plus 5h, right, we've distributed the 5, minus 2, minus x squared minus 5x plus 2, right, we distributed the minus there, and this is all going to be over h. Okay, now notice we should get some nice simplification. The x squared and minus x squared go away, the 5x and minus 5x go away, and the minus 2 and the 2 go away. So what are the things that we have left? Well, we just have three terms. We have the 2xh, the h squared, and the 5h. 
Okay, so let's write that 2xh plus h squared plus 5h over h. And notice, what do all three of those terms in the top have in common? Well, they all have an h in common. So let's factor out that h in the top. And notice what we're left with is 2x, because 2x times h is 2xh, plus h, because h times h is h squared, plus 5, because 5h is 5h. Okay, and now notice these h's will divide out, and what we're left with is 2x plus h plus 5. That is the difference quotient of this function, x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay, so notice our answer this time was not just a number. Uh, our answer ended up having an, an x's in it and, and h's uh, in it as, as well.